Pam Nick. I'm Steph. And this is Gamescom 2017 Debrief. Right. Gamescom Debrief. Every segment has the theme song. So we've had quite a few announcements from Gamescom now that it's officially over, it's dead, it's done with, we're not back for another year, uh, and hopefully we will go next year. Uh, but we have spoken about some of the stuff on our news uh, patch notes episode last week, but mm -hmm. you know, lots of other stuff has come out, so thought it would be a good time to round it up. Have a look. Yeah, so I, I figured the best way we do this because there's a lot of things to touch on. Lots of things to touch on. And I want to touch everything. Touch <laughs> really gently. Oh. Um, so I, I figured we could break it up into, into categories. Like just the oh. games, the games and the and the things and the announcements and that kind of stuff. Okay, what categories do you think? So I think the way we do it is pumped. Okay. Curious. Oh. And eh. Alright. Is ant eh like eh or eh. eh? It's like You could give a shit. It's it's the noise that goes with this face. Eh. Okay, cool. You know? Uh, now you have told me you've already grouped these things. Yeah, I have. So I mean you may or may not ag agree with where I've grouped the, um, you know, the games, but, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, what so are we starting with? Let's then? start with Pumped! Pumped! Because uh, there's a lot of games I'm pumped about. Alright, what's the first game you're pumped about? Alright, Assassin's Creed Origins. Eh. I know I've said this before, <laughs> <laughs> and that I'm frustrated with this series, yep. but then as soon as I watch the freaking trailer and I see all of Egypt and stuff, I'm like, I wanna play it, I'm pumped. You get all pumped. I wanna pumped. get in there. You get all pumped. I am, I am still eh on this. Really? Yeah, maybe I'm a little curious, but it's like a curious eh. It's not like a eh, it's like a eh. Like, like it's got a question mark at the end. Uh, some of it looks interesting. I'm a bit the same where I like the Assassin's Creed world mm. to get built out, but I don't know if I'm, I'm ready to go back there. The weird thing that they also announced was the Final Fantasy crossover. Oh yeah! So, yeah, so Final Fantasy is getting like an Assassin's Creed crossover where you get outfits and abilities. Uh, the, the, the event actually starts, I think on the 31st is when- Final Fantasy just loves crossing over with they stuff. Just, well, they don't have original ideas, that's the problem. So they feel the need to just put their seed into other games and, ta and, take, and take the progeny. Um, so uh, yeah, the Assassin's Creed outfits, you can use some of the abilities. Noctis can become an Assassin style thing. Uh, so that to me right now is more pumping than um than Assassin's Creed proper. Really? Really. No. Assassin's I mean, Creed. The, eh. the way I think of Assassin's Creed is it's kind of like it's stressful to think about because it's like a job, right? Fact. It's a chore oh, you're to get through so all of that stuff. Oh, sing it, sister! But it's a job that I'm really looking forward to because I know I'm going to get a sense of accomplishment from completing it. Oh, that's still not an entertaining way to describe <laughs> a video game. Uh, what's next on the list? Uh, Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. I'll be honest, I didn't spend a whole lot of time in Battlefront 1. Yeah? I feel like it overstated. I, I just ran out of enjoyment pretty quickly. I was like, whoa, this is so cool, it's Star Wars, it's AT-AT, -AT. and then yeah. I was like... It's because they ran out of game. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I'm really, I feel like they would have responded to that. Mm -hmm. I feel like they'll have a lot more to offer, and I'm really excited. Yeah, so I, like I would put myself in, uh, in pumpingly curious. <laughs> Pumpingly curious. <laughs> yeah, because I'm really curious about that story, uh, the single player stuff. Mm. Uh, but some of the stuff they revealed at Gamescom, the dog fighting? Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh yeah. maybe. I don't know if I'm any good at dog fighting. I'm guessing no. <laughs> but uh, but I am, I am curious to see how that turns out. Yeah. 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 So th the thing that ir irritated me in Battlefront is I always wanted to use one of the cool like Star Warsy vehicles, but someone would always get that pickup first. Oh, like yeah. they'd run to it and steal it. Oh, that was so annoying. It was really annoying. So this way they've changed it, and it's like a point system. So when you do objectives and stuff in game, get kills or whatever, you build up your own points, so then you can buy one of the vehicles in a match. Were you any good at a Tie Fighter? Because no. I was not good in a TIE Fighter. No, but that's because I was in a gravity environment. Whereas in a zero-G environment, like sparse, then uh, I feel like I could nail it. So why why are you like half curious, half pumped about Because it? I'm not pumped. I'm not like, yeah, this is happening. I'm kind of like, oh, pumpingly curious. So let's say curious. I'm curious. Okay. I'm no, curious. Okay. I'm curious about Star Wars. Uh, next, Shadow of War. Pumped! They Same. revealed a Monsters trailer that just looked freaking sick. Yeah. All those like... I mean, amazing creatures, but did you see the Balrog? Did you see the Balrog? I saw the Balrog. I want to fight a Balrog. I've seen a Balrog it's before. All of the Lord of the Rings hairs in my body just went. Pishing. 
How many Lord of the Rings hairs do you have? All of them are Lord of the Rings hairs. All, yeah. all hairs, Lord of the Rings hairs <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> we'll do something with that. Um, there's a green dragon. I got, you're a Lord of the Rings nerd. You're a giant Lord of the Rings nerd, Peter Burns. What's the green dragon? The name of the um, pub that they stay in. <laughs> or is it the Prancing Pony? The green dragon, the green dragon's name of a pub, isn't it? The green dragon is not where they meet the green Aragorn. Hobbiton is the Green Dragon. Oh, because we went there in New Zealand together. The Lord of the Rings hairs on my head are exploding. <laughs> They've turned a pub into a dragon confirmed. Middle Earth, Shadow of Wardor. But I'm sure in one of those extra books. I know books... that's not the name of the game, mate. Calm down. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure in one of those extra books that you would have read, Peter, because he's read all the extra books. Yeah, well, no. Technically, the he's pub... bought every copy of The Hobbit in different languages and no, pretended he's, to read he's all He's read of them. all like the Silmarillion and all yeah, the extra okay, yeah, bits yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the green dragon named after an actual dragon? I don't know. He doesn't know. <clears throat> but uh, he's there's one in this. He's cool. He totally knows. <laughs> Uh, but there is one in this game. Pumped. Super pumped. Super pumped. I'm sorry. I was told earlier that we can't add qualifiers to this. It's Pumpingly a... curious was not allowed. <laughs> I had to be curious, so you are. It's just, it's at the top of the pumped list. Do a better pumped graphic for this one, Will. Um, up next. Uh, Overwatch Junkertown map. You're pumped? I mean, I'm just excited to see us represented as Australians in Overwatch. Are we? <laughs> Oh, we like that because I feel less. like I More feel like less. I've already had my say on this issue. <laughs> <laughs> you f with your vision of Australia and my vision of Australia is different anyway. That's true. So I mean, I would love to see a nice Byron Bay map. Oh yeah, in Overwatch, when no one kills anybody and no. everyone's just on the beach. Yeah. Uh, I gotta agree. Holiday frontage. <laughs> uh, I agree. I'm pumped. I think this is cool. Yeah. I'm excited for this coming. Yeah, it's New awesome. Overwatch stuff to me is fun. Uh, up next, what are you next pumped about? Life is Strange Before the Storm. Ooh. Like, I loved that game so much. It yep. was. I wasn't expecting to love it. It looked kind of lame, I'll be honest. It looked really lame. And uh, the, a lot of the trailers kind of like really went hard on that sort of teenager naggy kind of yeah. angle, angle like, but then when... Some but, of the dialogue was a bit some iffy, of it's a little, yeah. bit, But when you get it in there in context and the story that they're building out, and mm. I'm, I'm saying this is someone who only finished two of those episodes, um, it, it, it did actually feel like, oh no, that is the heart of this story, is, is teenagerdom. Yeah, and I think it was just a really interesting way to kind of flesh out different relationships in a video game and have you kind of involved interactively in like building those relationships or destroying them. Or destroying... Spoilers, possibly, but it's a choose-your-own-adventure-style <laughs> game, so not really. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put myself in Pumped in this. Do I need to finish the other one? I would, if if I could say uh, Pumpingly Curious for this one, it would be because, um, you know, the, the, the voice actor for Chloe has been replaced. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is a... This is, I don't know, what's the expression? A bear in your hair and nagging... A bug, bug a bug, bear. Bug bear, a bug bear. Bug in your hair? You've got a real bug bear on this ah, one. You've got a I monkey just, on your shoulder. You've got a panda up your butt. It's because of the... <laughs> Her up my butt. It's because of the voice actor strike, and it's you know she's such a pivotal, she plays such a pivotal mm. role in, in that game as well. She's she's a a writer and a you know yeah. a, a story consultant on the game yeah. also, and they were just like we don't want to pay you enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to to consider your voice you know worthy of sticking with. I do understand. Yeah, I do understand that that that. It, but I do think that they also hired a voice actor. I don't think it was an accountant. I don't think you'll even notice. I reckon I'll just sail right by. I've already heard her doing line reads and oh, I'm like, Steph's not happy. Nah. <laughs> Downgraded to pumping with Hashtag curious. not my Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, your next pumping. Um, uh, so Destiny 2. What? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't excited about it, but then I saw you and Miles play it, and I'll be honest, I felt a little bit left out. You felt a little pumped? I felt a little bit pumped. <laughs> okay, cool. And I was like, you guys are like having heaps of fun, I wanna play. Is that the game, or is that like you just wanted to like spend time with us on camera? I mean, no. I mean, it's like I w it's a game that I want to play with other people. True. Which, Very true. You know, is like uh, among the games that I tend to favor, yeah. that I lean towards. It's, yeah. They're not often multiplayer games. So when the multiplayer game kind of comes up and it looks sick, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I'm pumped for that. And at Gamescom, they revealed the European Dead Zone area. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I only bring it up because you like Europe. I do like Europe. You're a big Europe fan. I like all things European. Would you describe yourself as pumped for Europe? I'm, I'm pumped. Hashtag pumped for Europe. I would say for me, Destiny 2 as well, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I reckon that- I thought so. Yeah, they, they so. have a lot of mistakes to make up for and I feel like they hopefully they hopefully know what rests on those meaty shoulders 
of whatever developer's name made Destiny 2. I mean, like, individually, I know it was Bungie. Moving on. Gwent Thronebreaker. I think this answers your question. Sorry, I'll do it in this one. Don't you think... This is very distracting. Don't you think Thronebreaker <laughs> yeah. sounds like a Bond movie? Oh, totally. Thronebreaker. Oh, 100%. I'm so excited for this. We don't even have that many details about it. We know that we know that it's kind of like there's a cut, there's a cutscene in it and it's a card game. We don't need to know anything game. about it. Yep. We know that it will just be awesome because Very nothing excited. CDP do yep. is less than awesome. Is less than pump worthy. <laughs> I think we are both throbbing pump, maximum pumpage. What's up next? What could possibly follow this? <laughs> throbbing pump. Throbbing pumpage. Okay, so this is another unusual one that you might not ex uh, expect from me, but Far Cry Five. What? I know, and it is purely because. The villains in this story, are, I find legitimately terrifying. Are real villains in life right now. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So, I mean, the Far Cry games, I've always just found them a bit douchey and stupid and like, there's cool elements to them and stuff, but I've never been like, this is a series that I'm gonna like champion up here. Yep. But I'm, I'm actually pumped for this because I feel like the way that they've reflected the current landscape mm -hmm. um, through the, the villains in their game is interesting. Yep and how they handle that in the game will be interesting. And I'm excited. Again, I would say it's pumpingly curious, but I'm yep. gonna put it in pumped. You have to put it in pump because that's the rules. That's the rules. Uh, I would say, I'm curious about this one. Be, uh, it, kind of for the same reason as you, uh, but I'm hesitant to see, like you said, how Far Cry's always been a bit dude bro -y and a bit like, let's just go to another culture and be the white guy that fixes everything. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and beyond just the politics of that, also it, it is- But it's, this time it's the white culture. That, it's the white culture, right. so this time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you, you, I see what you did there, Far Cry. Mm. I'm onto you. Mm. Um, but the other thing that the Far Cry games do, I feel like there's, um, there's a lot of weight to the story and everything that's going on, but then the gameplay is quite sort of frivolous in terms of there's just yeah. lots of shooting and exploding and killing and like you kind of have wanton destruction across a landscape. So mm. my point is that I'm curious to see how that works with a subject matter that I feel like for a lot of the audience who's playing this game is a little cuts a bit closer to home than than um. You, you know. want depth in gameplay as well as story. I want I want nuance in how gameplay Which is Which is a tall handled. order, Nick. It, it is, it is. Uh, but what I am excited about, I love the look of it. I, uh, yeah, watching some yeah. of the gameplay stuff that they put out uh, at Gamescom, going into that part of America, which we don't really see in games that much, doing the things in that area that you do is very disturbing. So yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that they, they can balance that. So they always I'm, do I'm such curious. good like launch trailers and cinematic trailers and stuff like that. I, yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. Far Cry 3 with the, with Vars. Yeah. When we all saw that, we were like, oh, he I'm, looks legitimately crazy, man. I am I am excited. I'm I'm curious, I'm curious. So is that it for your pumps? That's uh, that's all I've, I found for pumped. Okay, what's up next? Curious? We have <clears throat> Curious. Hit me. So there was a game called Fae. Did you see that? F-E? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it kind of looked a little bit like Ori in the Blind Forest, mm -hmm. but it also looked a bit like uh, an indie game called Shelter. Oh yeah, the, um, the uh, foxes? Wolves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or there were like little badgers, I think. In yeah, I think lots of animals maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, I, I don't know, there were kind of different vibes in there that I felt appealed to me, but I, it could also just be really lame. How else would you describe that feeling? Curious. Yes. Uh, so I, I'm, on, I'm with you on this one as well. I'm curious. Uh, Piqued my interest. Because I loved Ori in the Blind Forest, um, and you know that has nothing to do with this really. The, the only thing that feels a little weird about this to me is I, in the trailers, I found it quite hard to look at. Like I found it hard to distinguish between my the character mm. and the environments. And when I was moving around, I, I would like in the trailers I would lose the character and that sort of thing. So to to look at it was like, oh, is this too much purple and cool looks? Mm. Uh, but I, I like the idea of I like the idea of the mood that it's setting. So definitely curious about that. Yeah, cool. Uh, the next one I had in the curious category yep. was the Good Life. So if you have not watched the Good Life trailer. It's it's uh, it brought to us from the minds of Deadly Premonition. Yeah. Do, 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 Made by Sweary. Do, 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 do. If you've played that game, you will You'll connect with that, that song yeah. and how much it will haunt your dreams forever. In D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. <laughs> dark Dreams Don't Die. That's right, I played that as well. Um, but it's a it's a detective story set mm. in a in a town where everyone turns into cats at night. It is 
so weird. This trailer is so weird. The art style is bizarre. Yeah. Like for what the story is telling. I love the concept, but I'm super thrown by the art style and I'm not sure that's what's kind of like. Yeah. It's, it's holding me, you off. It's holding me off, yeah. Oh God, I, uh, you cannot pump me more mm. for this game. I am so pumped. What's the name of that, uh, that, that, um, that, that, that game I love? The detective game? The v one with the, what's shit, what's it called with the video? Oh, spot the difference. Yeah. Spot the, spot Con the contradiction. 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 Spot the. Oh my God, contradiction. This is giving me such contradiction vibes. Contradiction spot, spot, spot the murder? Spot the liar. Spot the liar. Contradiction, spot the liar. Oh my god, this is this game is giving me those vibes. It's like a murder in a village, kind of like weird. You're gonna learn all the relationships. I'm yeah. in, I'm so in, I'm so pumped. I'm curious. This is this is such a Nicky game. Um the next one I have on Curious is Shenmue 3. I have never played a Shenmue game, but when I was sitting uh at, a, at one of the press conferences for E3 when they announced this as like, well, they announced a Kickstarter for it. Mm. Like the crowd went mental. Mm. Like people were so excited. People don't know what they want, Stephanie. People are idiots. <laughs> and I'm curious. I don't know anything about it. I, look, I am I would say curious as well. I'm curious as to how much of a train wreck this is going to be. Um, so is this like a Heavy Rain style thing where it's like you're just playing through very mundane... Yeah, it's like... Life? It's like, yeah, it's like heavy rain mixed with persona, I guess, like the social aspect of that. It's, and the Sims, like it's kind of like, not, there's not a huge amount that happens. It's kind of like a bit like a life sim, but it's also quite Japanese-y. Um, it's, it's, the first games were interesting. Like they were doing something interesting, right? But I feel like since then, other games have taken the mantle of what it was doing and have done it better. Yeah, so, but, but, but maybe maybe they will, will respond to that being that a lot of times passed since the, the previous one. I feel like if that was the case, they wouldn't have needed to launch a Kickstarter to get this game made. Sony would have gone, yes, this game is awesome and is doing things we haven't seen before. Touche. Touche. <laughs> All Kickstarters are failed games and bad ideas confirmed. No, I've backed so many Kickstarters. <laughs> and they all sucked. <laughs> uh, do you have more Curious? No, that's it for Curious. You're done with being Curious. Yeah. Wow, you are only curious about three things. I mean, you are a black and white kind of person. I'm a generally pumped person. That is true. I you give have... everything the benefit of the doubt. And yeah. then I just allow myself to be heartbreakingly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good way to live. Uh, so we're on to eh. 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 Um, so this is probably, argue, like this could be quite controversial. Yeah. Age of Empires 4. I'm sorry. No, I want to get away from when people start just, throwing shit I didn't, through the screen. I didn't play a lot of Age of Empires, so I'm just, it's hard for me to be like excited about it. Um, but I'm like, I wouldn't even say I'm curious. <laughs> I would just say that I'm like, eh. Yeah, okay. I, uh, I am pumped. There's just a lot of those games out there. Sorry. Uh, uh, no, yeah, totally. I'm pumped. I will probably uh, play like two hours of it because it's not really my kind of game, but I'm pumped. How that... can you be pumped for a game that you'll only play two hours of? How dare you, Stephanie? <laughs> Like, I'm so excited, I can't wait to play a really small amount! I'm excited that <laughs> this game is being made. I feel like th there is a whole audience out there uh, who are desperate for this kind of thing. It's been made by Relic, who make these kinds of like hardcore traditional style yeah. games. Uh, and so I'm, I'm pumped that pe like this is a whole generation of people love this game mm. and um, love this series, sorry. That they get a new one, I'm very excited for them. I will play a little bit and it might suck me in, but generally I'm never, I'm not I don't fall too far into these kinds of games, sure. but, uh, but I, I, I was I was ex as excited as everyone else when they announced it. Um, okay, next one is your favorite, The Sims Cats and Dogs expansion, The Sims 4. Look, wait, can you say it's just, like, isn't it's there the a Cats Sim and Dogs expansion in every Sims? It's The Sims, but now with cats and dogs. But, no, but not just cats and dogs, you can also um, pursue a profession as like a vet or a dog groomer and stuff. How exciting. Um, the, uh, you want a dog. A lot of people really love, I want a real dog! <laughs> this is the first step, if you no. can't, you don't know if you can look after a real dog. I handed you a baby today, you freaked the fuck out. Yeah, but that's why all of the maternal instincts that I do not have yep. as a woman, yep. have manifest themselves in a, an intense desire for a dog. Yeah, right. And so I will I, have a dog. If I handed that dog to we you. We will have a dog. <laughs> if I, if I handed a dog to you instead, you'd be like, shh, shh. Yeah. And that's it exactly. <laughs> the teat. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sims people, I'm sure you're very excited like you were the last 12 times that the Cats and Dogs <laughs> expansion came out for all the other Sims games. Uh, for me, this is a eh, 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> whatever. It I almost didn't even put it in there, but then I was like, this is funny, because I'll say that, but, like, you love it. And then we got dog teeth. And then we have a dog teeth. So it lives forever. Uh, so what about Ruiner? This is that kind of cyberpunk. It's like a top-down um, oh, like it's, shooter. Oh, yeah, it's super red. It's super red. It's super red. Um, I, te I tend to find those games, like, I just get bored of them very quickly. There's yeah. kinds of top-down shooter, like, um, twin-stick shooter type things. Yeah, uh, I'm generally the same. I, it needs a good gimmick. That's what it needs. Yeah. This yeah. one doesn't seem to have a gimmick. It seems to, the gimmick might just be, it's red. Mm. Um, but the, uh, the, you know, I'm thinking of something like Mr. Shifty, uh, which is out on okay. Switch and other things. But anyway, you can bounce through walls. You're a guy who kills people with a broomstick. <laughs> like, there's a, there's a whole gimmick there that's yeah, fun yeah. to do. Whereas yeah. this is more just like the traditional sort of stuff. So, eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh, eh. eh. Uh, is there more? Oh, I don't like that we agree so much on this. Oh, really? Yeah. We're both, we're like equally apathetic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, things. yeah. Okay. Now, this one might be a little bit controversial mm. uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, the theme parky kind of one. I mean, I think the idea is really cool. I'm yeah. just not particularly excited about it personally. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we, we we talked about this last week on Patch Notes. I'm curious just to see, is the game about the best part of Jurassic Park is when all the dinosaurs get out, right? Yeah. So is the game about park management when your park's going to shit, or is the game about park management when everything's running well? <laughs> and then when it does go down the drain, which it has to. Uh, how long is that? How fun is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm really curious to see. <laughs> maybe I am curious. Maybe you are curious. Maybe you just discovered something about maybe yourself. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm eh, curious. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, how how the dinosaurs will be implemented into the into the fun of yeah. the game. Yeah. Because is... yeah, because the advantage of something like Roller Coaster Tycoon, right, is you build all these different kinds of roller coasters. Whereas here, it's just uh, this is a big grassy patch. Uh, for the Brontosaurus, mm. and uh, this is a big tree patch for the Raptosaurus, and, and, you and know, this, is, this is where Newman lives. Traditionally with these games, you know, it's about keeping the public happy as well. Like, oh, they really like enjoy this ride, and they... Or, or they, they hate being eaten. Yeah, or they, or they like this part of the zoo because there's all these animals like yeah. next to each other and stuff, and so I'm, yeah. How does that work when, when the dinosaurs start eating everyone? That, that is, the, that's the, a very good like question. Like, the patrons are gen generally unhappy with that. Can I, can I upgrade you to Curious? Yeah, okay, fine. Can Fair, you be yeah, upgraded? I can be upgraded. Are we both yeah. curious about this? I think we're both a bit curious I about it. I think we're both a bit curious about Jurassic Park. All right, Steph, bring us home. Okay, so the final one I have for eh is Final Fantasy Windows Edition, which is basically a PC port, yep. and Pocket Edition. You are so wrong about this. Really? You are so wrong about this one. Okay. S Stephanie Ben what Dixon. I mean, don't, didn't you find that you got enough out of the experience of driving it a car that you weren't allowed to drive for freaking ages in the first game? Do you need to revisit that in new and different forms? Here's why it's great. Everyone out there can experience the batshit story of a Final Fantasy game without having to drudge through a hundred hours of shit game. Really? So this, so uh, the, not the Windows version. The Windows version is just the game on Windows, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Fuck that It's version. a PC port. The version I'm, I'm excited about, the Pocket Edition. So this is... And the, it's all like, like, kind of cartoony uh, and like... Chi, chi, chibbly, chibi, chibi, what's the, yeah, chibi, 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 chappy, chibi? chappy? Is it that robot movie? Um, yeah, it's like they've changed the design of it. It's a ten part, ten episode sort of series. Mm. It's just like the story and a bit of gameplay. And you'll be able to smash through that story. That's exciting. This is an exciting... People can look at it and go, oh no! We were right the whole time, Final Fantasy is a shit game, and they kind of haven't nailed the story either, but at least I got it done pretty quick. <laughs> so I am pumped to see how that turns out. Wait, that's different. You're pumped to see how it turns out, or you're pumped to play it? I am pumped to play it. Okay. For a little bit, and mainly just to see how it turns out. <laughs> for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is it. While you are definitely wrong about the Final Fantasy Pocket Edition, so pumped. Uh, generally, we came out relatively... We're both pretty pumped. Pro-pump on this but one. But I feel like this because we're generally positive people and we're excited about games. That is very true. Also, it is interesting that the course, the dialogue I heard anecdotally over the whole week was Gamescom's quiet, there's not a huge announcements and stuff coming out. Uh, but, you know, here I, I think they showed that they, they're revealing lots about games that are coming out shortly. Yeah. And I think, uh, given given the, the pumpage level, it's, it worked. 
The however many millions of dollars those Germans spent on this convention worked on this boy to spend another couple of hundred bucks I mean, on video we games. We definitely need to be there next year. A hundred percent. Definitely need to be just there. Just write to the Channel 7 and just say send them to Germany, preferably around Gamescom time, but I'll take a trip to get some Bratwurst, I want to say. Um, Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Do you love Bratwurst? But more importantly, what are you pumped, curious, and eh about? Give us your rankings down in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We're out. Thanks so much. And here are the big stories from the weekend. First up, and two of nerd culture's fantasy crushes may be about to make sweet, sweet crossover love. Is that the bottom lip or the tongue? I don't know. I don't the think tongue. No one kisses like that. Really?